We out here starving Physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, financially It's time we get some direction I appreciate my Oc G Martel for getting with me on this one it get cold in these streets, I pray to God for better days yeah. I've been in these streets, little pain and rainy days Tryna get my head right, I suffer from this pain Just Tryna get my bread right, hope you do the same Dark, I'm trying to be a light Too many people moving left, I'm trying to do what's right Too many people falling down, I'm trying to reach a height and lift them up And if they giving up, I'm trying to bring the fight Cause if you die in your sin, that's permanent I'm trying to come up off the dome like the firmament This rap bleeding out, I think it needs a tourniquet If demons want to fight me, we can get it like a tournament I want to come up on some bread so I can feed the poor I'm trying to stick to the path like a guided tour And if you really want to know who I am fighting for, just look and revelation this for those of us yeah, who might be streets, I pray to God for better days. Yeah. I've been in these streets, little pain and rainy days. Shabbat Shalom, family. It's your boy Stalin Prophet here with Professor S and the family. And this is Shabbat Talk. How everybody doing? Great. Terrific. It's doing oh. good. How are you? Stupendous. Yeah, we are good. I'm definitely good. All praises to the most how to be here. And we got a full house. It's trivia night. So <laughs> everybody in the building. Folks <laughs> calling off work. Making it in. <laughs> and every day. No, I'm just joking. It's your body. Y'all supposed to be working in the No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Now, everybody in here, though, but yeah, you know, first and foremost, we got to give all praise to the Most High and thanking Him for everything, the platform, us waking up this morning, all the information that we get and share with everybody. Without Him, you know, we wouldn't be able to do this. So, definitely want to give Him His props, His due praise. On, on to the shout outs. Definitely got to give shout outs to everybody. First and foremost, man, Shabbat Shalom to my co-host, man, Professor S in the building. He's been cooking these last couple of weeks. He had, to, he had to stop, take a break. You know what I'm saying? It was too hot. He was burning it up. <laughs> you know? Well, thanks. Cooking, man. Shabbat Shalom, bro. I love you. Yeah, you too. Love you too, bro. Yes, sir. Let's get it. Shabbat Shalom. I'm going down, I'm going down the list of how I see it on here. Shabbat Shalom, Brother Greg. Shabbat Shalom, brothers. Appreciate y'all. Shabbat Shalom, Tess and Cindy. <laughs> Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom, Sister Andy. Shabbat Shalom, family. Shabbat Shalom to the to the Y team, the Yah team. Everybody over there. We got we got we got Sister Marquita. We got Sister Kaylee. We got Sister Kaya. Who, who else over there? Oh, that's <laughs> it. That's it. We don't, okay. we don't know where Sims is right now. Okay. Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom, Sister Jasmine. Shabbat Shalom, family. Shabbat Shalom, Sister Deboria. Hello, everyone. And Shabbat Shalom. See, they were on here early on the tablet, but we, was, we only limited to 10. So I took them off, but they right here with me. Shabbat Shalom them all my cheering. Go ahead and lean in so y'all can get on here. Say Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. They on here tonight. My son, Shabbat Shalom, Cam. Shabbat Shalom. All right. All praises to the most high. All right. So we're going to get right up into the um, Torah portion. And then we're going to get into the trivia night. We ain't gonna waste no time. We ain't gonna waste no time. 
Shalom and welcome to Parsha 60 seconds. Today's portion is from Exodus 10 through 1316. It is called Bo, which means go or come. Seven out of ten plagues have been performed, and Pharaoh keeps changing his mind about letting the Israelites go. God used the east wind and brought an onslaught of locusts on the land. Pharaoh begged for forgiveness. God used a west wind to lift the locusts into the Sea of Reeds. God hardened Pharaoh's heart, and he would not let the Israelites go. Then God brought darkness upon the land, but the Israelites enjoyed light. Pharaoh tried to negotiate terms in which the Israelites left their flocks behind. Moses rejected the terms. Pharaoh reacted in anger, yelling, The moment you look upon my face, you shall die. Moses warned Pharaoh that God would kill every born in Egypt. God instructed the Israelites to take the blood of the sacrificial lamb and mark the frames of their doorposts, so that when the angel of death came, he would pass over and the house would be saved. That night, God struck down all the firstborn in Egypt. Pharaoh woke up that night to a loud cry, and he let the Israelites go. God instructed Moses to tell the Israelites to consecrate to God every firstborn man and beast, and Moses did so. And that is Bo in 60 seconds. Big. All right, that was a partial in 60 seconds. And it was a part of this week's tour portion, which was Exodus chapter 10, verse 1 through Exodus chapter 13, verse 16. We got Jeremiah uh, chapter 46, verses 13 through 28. We got Luke chapter 22, verse 7 through 30. Uh, yeah, 7 through 30. And then we got 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verses 20 through 34. All right, let's not all jump at once. Who wants to share first about what they got from the Torah portion or anything interesting from the the other readings outside of the Torah, Jeremiah, Luke, and 1 Corinthians? I guess I'll, I'll start us off. Um, just a couple of quick things. The first one was in Exodus 10, and the video kind of touched on it to where, you know, when Pharaoh recognized that he sinned against Yah, like he told Moses, I sinned against um you know yahuwah and asked to take away the locust so he moses went back asked yah and then, you know he, he listened and sent him into the reeds and then you know he hardened his heart after that but he recognized that he sinned against him so i thought that was uh, interesting and then the other piece is when um you know yah sent the darkness upon the land for three days and people could not see one another and they stayed in their houses so i just wonder how that looks because the land of israel had light but they were in darkness um I, like visually, you know, I'm just curious how they actually look with like complete pitch black or they just not have like external light, like candle light or sunlight. Like it was just so dark that the sun didn't even touch that piece. You know, that's interesting to me. I don't know if it alludes to in other scriptures or if it explains that more, but that was interesting to me when it had the darkness. And then uh, last piece I'll touch on is just first Corinthians. It's like the last two, I think it's the last two verses, 29 and 30 in chapter 11 to where He's just talking about you know people that eat and drink unworthily, unworthy, unworthily. I think that's how you say that. And then they bring damnation on themselves, and they typically are like asleep. Many people that do that, they're asleep and they're sickly among you, are weak, sickly, and asleep. So we obviously see that in today's world. So those were my things that I picked up mostly from the Torah portions. Absolutely. My man's always go first. He he be he be breaking the ice. <laughs> he do this for so y'all can feel comfortable sharing because he just yes. you know I appreciate you. You see how simple my explanations are. So if I can do it, that means you guys can do it too. Yeah, you just sharing what you got. You don't got to be super deep. You ain't got to drop no revelations. You know to change put change somebody like oh my god that was magnificent. <laughs> no, you just sharing what you got. You know we want to know. You know we want to know. Okay, um, are you done, Greg? I'm sorry. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm done. You go ahead. Okay, all right. Um, I have a question, actually. In Exodus 13, 9, it appears to me as if this is the mark of the Most High, yeah, um, the way it explains it, um, you know, about um, the hand and between the eyes. Oh, well, it says, and it shall be as a sign to you in your hand. And a reminder between your eyes. Um, is that the mark of Yah, the Most High Yah? Like, people are always talking about the mark of the beast. Is this um, the Most High's mark? Like, keeping his Torah and... Yeah, keeping his habits. That's and, something I would say, yeah. Because, um, you know, the mark of the beast is either in the 
hand or the forehead, right? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And uh, this is in both the hand and the forehead. So, um, you know, if you uh, if you look at that, that would be like uh, it also would go along with the two witnesses, right? To say, hey, look, I've got two witnesses, not just one, because mm -hmm. you have to have two witnesses to establish a matter, right? Um, okay. So in your head and your hand. But if one of those got replaced, then you would no longer have the two witnesses, and that would make the mark of the beast, right? Um, okay. it, interesting stuff there. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I know in Revelation, too, it talks about having the seal of Yah in our foreheads. Mm -hmm. And I know the, uh, you know, Seventh-day Adventists, uh, I know they're really big on, like, the sun, you know, talking about Sunday worship and saying that it's, you know, because they believe it's not a physical mark that it's, who you worship as far as like the day you worship on that's like seven day Adventists. that's what they kind of go into their teachings um so it's about like sunday having to mark you know when you bow down to sunday law it's like the sun worship sun god so you, it's worship versus like a physical mark so i thought that was interesting when i first heard you know them talking about that as far as like that's what the the mark is like word worship versus like a, a physical mark but if you choose that day then it comes with the mark as well so okay i'm gonna worship on sunday so now I'm going to take the, the mark to show that I'm a Sunday worshiper versus, you know, true Shabbat and law worshiper or something, something like that. But, yeah, that is interesting, though. That's a good call out. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I also agree with Professor S. Um, and, you know, with the mark of the beast, you know, Satan takes everything and perverts it and inverts it. So that would that would line right on up. Um, something I found interesting was right after that, where it starts talking about the firstborn, the Targum actually calls it the ordinance of the firstborn, the ordinance of the firstborn son. And so I found that interesting when they were talking about the first, because the firstborn was killed in Egypt. So the most high is taking the, the select firstborn of Israel and taking them for himself. And so I was like, oh, okay, nice. Yeah, and not only of the of the people, the but beast, also yeah. of their of their cattle as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, if it was uh, if it was a clean animal, the firstborn of a clean animal had to be um, sacrificed, and then um, um, if uh, if there was a, a firstborn of an unclean animal, they would have to they would have to either. Um, use a, a another animal to um uh, what was the word for it uh the word was um i'm sorry it's just not in my head right at the moment um a oh, redeem redeem so they had to redeem it with a uh, a clean animal and set make the sacrifice to redeem it but if they didn't then they had to kill it right um and then they had to redeem all of their uh firstborn human offspring you know. Okay. Thank you. Gotcha. Yeah, that was going to be um, that's something I was going to ask is um, how it's worded in the Targum because the Targum seems to have a lot deeper meaning when it comes to everything. And, um, I don't know. In 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 the Torah, in the first five books, it's how, mm -hmm. it sounds like it has more. I love it. Detail. I do. I want to get one. So. It's funny you okay, so since you mentioned that, I was gonna mention this is like the last part of what I got. So and I'm trying to let me see, I wanna line it up with so you guys can follow, but it's it's in Exodus twelve towards the end of it. So let me find it in a sixty six to tell you what verse. Exodus 12. Okay, so it's around verses 48 through the end of the chapter. In the in the 66, in the Targum, though, it says a sojourner or a hired stranger shall not eat thereof. In his own company he shall eat. Thou shalt not carry any of the flesh out of the house from thy company, nor send a gift 
one male to his neighbor, and a bone of him shall not be broken for the sake of eating that which is within it. Right. So it's saying a, a, a sojourner or a hired stranger shall not eat. Just talking about the Passover. But then it says, um, well, and then in the, the uh, Palestinian Targum, it says a sojourning man and a hireling born of the Gentiles shall not eat of it. So they can't they can't eat it into the, eat the Passover. But then it goes on, and this is what I believe it lines up with 48 and 49. It says, all the congregation of Israel shall mix together, this one with that, one family with another, and they that perform it. And if a proselyte sojourn with you and would perform the pasha before the Most High, let every male belonging to him be circumcised and so be made fit to perform it, and he shall be as a native of the land but no uncircumcised one of the sons of Israel shall eat thereof. One law shall be, oh, one law shall there be as to appointments for the native and for the proselyte who sojourn among you. So this also, because we, we've talked about this on other episodes, I've done separate studies on, on this, talking about the strangers who sojourn, the Gentiles, and who's actually considered Israel, who the Israelites are, and all of that. But this clarified a lot for me because this showed that there was a difference. It was a it was a difference between the native born the Israelite, right? The native born Israelite and strangers. But then it even broke it down even more. You have the native born Israelite and the stranger. But within the stranger, you have the strangers who are just like passing through. They're staying for a little bit and they're going to leave. They're not supposed to share the Passover, but then you have the proselyte and Professor S on another episode went into like what a proselyte was exactly. And it's basically someone who is trying to learn to learn the beliefs of someone else, being a student of someone else. Right. And the strangers who are proselytes, meaning those who come in because everybody's so everybody's so journeying right now. But the strangers who come in to learn the law, learn the law get circumcised, keep the Passover, they're treated as one that's born in the land. So it's not just, if, okay, if you sojourn in Israel, then you can be considered Israel. That wasn't the case. There were steps to it. You had to sojourn, but you also had to become a proselyte mm -hmm. to become Israel. And that's what, that was the defining factor that allowed them to come in. So when I read that, I was like, man, that's right, right in alignment with what um, my understanding was when I read it in the, in the um, 66. Because my understanding wasn't just you, you sojourning, you're in. You had to take the steps. You had to get circumcised. You had to show your you know, commitment to the Most High to be uh, accepted in. So that was one of the biggest things that came out of that for me. You know, I have wrote well. that down, too. And then, isn't it too, it said it was a, a servant or someone, if they brought silver and got circumcised, so did they have to kind of pay, like, bring funds to, you know, to the tribe or to the, you know, the... the and get circumcised. Did it say something about bringing in silver too? Um, uh, this, this mentioned anything about silver? Say, but any man a servant has brought silver and is circumcised may eat of it. I don't know what. I didn't put down the verse. <clears throat> but it was in uh, Exodus twelve. Yeah. Um. Let me see. I think it was saying anyone who was bought with silver. Yeah, anyone who was bought with silver. I was oh, bought say. with silver, not bringing silver. Okay. Oh, okay. That. Yeah, this this translates it as a, a higher stranger. Okay. Okay. So, got yeah. It. Got it. yeah. 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 Change that. Who was bought? Oh, I think I missed the word. Yeah, many man. I put a sir. Yeah, I think I just missed the word when I was kind of jotting down some notes. And then a little bit earlier from that, in the same chapter, uh, it was talking about the Book of Memorial. And uh, it goes back to Genesis, Genesis 1. And where and it says that uh, it was the word of the Most High um, that illuminated and made it light. And he called it the first night. So where it says in the beginning was the word. And then the earth was 
without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And it says, and the word of the Most High illuminated and made it light. And he called it the first night. So I found that interesting too as well. Um, there's a lot of stuff in, 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 in the Targum. But that last part was uh, the most recent of the Torah portion that I had read because I knocked out a lot of the Torah portion a lot earlier this week. But anybody else got anything? I thought I thought that one thing was uh, very interesting. It said that, that um, <clears throat> it said that the darkness was a darkness that could be felt, right? So this was like a, an unnatural darkness. It wasn't like super heavy clouds. You know what I'm saying? It was like you said a darkness that could be felt, right? Um, I would imagine that if if there's some kind of darkness that you can feel, um, you probably wouldn't be able to. I mean, a candle probably wouldn't shine through it, even. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. Some, I, some I, 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 that the light couldn't even get through. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's um, crazy. They just stayed in their house and they couldn't even go anywhere. Yeah. Like, so <laughs> yeah. I mean, they, they, they were essentially blind. So they were just like, oh, let's just sit here. You know, I mean, what are we going to do? You know, um, but then uh, another thing was the distinction that was made between um, Israel and the Egyptians. Right. Then whenever the Egyptians um, sent Israel out, it said, get you and your people and anyone who follows you out of here. We don't want anyone who who, who uh, does what you're doing. So they're even saying, even the Egyptians that listened to you for the Passover, and they didn't die, get them out of here too. We don't want y'all around. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, you say that. An interesting thing, the, um, the Passover, actually, at the time in Egypt, because Egypt, the deities in Egypt changed. They varied from time to time. They went from one, one deity to a different one, being the primary um, deity that they worshipped, right? And um, uh, at the time that this took place, they were act actually worshipping a uh, a sheep god, right? So that was their primary deity. Um, I believe it was um, off the top of my head, I can't remember the name, um, but uh, they their primary deity was a sheep god. So the Egyptians worshipped sheep. Essentially, um, Israel performing the Passover would have been a huge politically incorrect thing to do. You know what I'm saying? Um, all of the Egyptians would have looked at him like, you're killing our God. What are you doing? You know, because um, sheep were deified. Right. Um, so that was like a, a very interesting thing that through the death of what the people around them believed was a God was how they. Um, they were spared from death, right? Um, the firstborn also an interesting thing, primarily in dynastic um, rulership, right? In in dynasties like Egypt had, the um, the ruler would generally be the firstborn, right? Um, so that indicates that the pharaoh at the time of Moses was not a firstborn; he was a secondborn, right? Um, otherwise he would have also croaked. And so that was a break in, in the, the dynastic rulership being firstborn because traditionally and ordinarily you would have your firstborn become the, the next ruler whenever you were getting ready to pass. Right. But, um, in this case, for whatever reason, I don't remember the exact circumstances. Um, uh, perhaps one day we can do a study on that, but, um, uh, this particular pharaoh was not a firstborn, um, so that's a that's an interesting thing to note. And then um, uh, where I was going to speak on it, but um, Solomon Prophet brought it up about the, uh, the no one no one that's uncircumcised can partake of the Passover, right? Um, so I thought that was very interesting, especially going into. Uh, the uh, section from uh, two Cor or one Corinthians, where it talks about eating and drinking unworthily, um, would would bring damnation onto onto them. Um, we know that the circumcision, the physical circumcision, and the circumcision of the heart are um, there. Uh, like you can have one and not the other, right? So you can you can 
be physically circumcised and your heart not be circumcised, in which case you would be doing that unworthily, right? Um, but uh, it's it's an interesting thing to note that in 1 Corinthians 5, um, Paul says, for, uh, says uh, in verse 7, 7 and 8, hang on a second. Yes, in verse 7 and 8, uh, 1 Corinthians 5, 7 and 8, it says, Purge out therefore the old leaven, uh, that ye may be a new lump, as ye are unleavened. For even Messiah, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast, uh, not with old leaven, neither with the leaven of malice and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Right. So Paul is breaking down what unleavened bread actually is symbolizing here, and um, that and and saying that Messiah is our Passover. So let us keep the feast. Right. Uh, he he said he said to keep the feast right, um, but now Paul speaking with um, Gentiles, this indicates if he's telling them to keep the feast right, and we're already we've established in verse seven that he's talking about Passover. Um, that would mean that Paul was not encouraging people to refrain from getting circumcised because Paul would have known, um, as he said, you know, he said. Imitate me as I imitate Messiah, right? And um, <clears throat> if he, in order for him to say that, he would have to be imitating Messiah, right? And he's speaking to Gentiles, telling them to imitate him the way he imitates Messiah. So he would have to be imitating Messiah. And if he's imitating Messiah, then he's going to be keeping the Torah to the best of his ability, right? And Paul would not encourage people to refrain from circumcision and also tell them they should be keeping Passover because the Torah says no one that's uncircumcised is supposed to partake of Passover. So um, just an interesting note there. Um, interesting I, note. That's a mic drop. Right. 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 <laughs> <laughs> interesting note. <laughs> so mic drop, right. 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 Um, so, yeah. So we see that uh, Paul is easily misunderstood and he was not encouraging people not to get um, circumcised. He was rather telling them to refrain from it until they were actually ready to. Not to ready do it to hastily. A true conviction. Yes, yes. To have the true conviction, not simply to because someone says, oh, yeah, you have to. No. Um, and then going back to the part where Greg said about how they eat and drink unworthily, right? Um that would be uh, obviously um, partaking in that without being circumcised, either in the flesh or in the heart, um, would be doing it unworthily, right? So, um, and all through all through the Torah, it says, you know, circumcise your heart, right? Um, and in Jeremiah, it says, circumcise mm -hmm. the foreskin of your heart, right? Um, it's important that we have both. Um, not just the one, you know what I'm saying? And so with this, uh, this particular um, uh, section from uh, 1 Corinthians 11, I think that that's an indication that people um, doing it unworthily and getting sick and all that kind of stuff is, you know, has to do with either not being physically circumcised and still going to participate or um, not having their heart circumcised. And I would say more, more, more likely and more often it would probably be because their heart's not circumcised, but um, yeah. Yeah. Cause the physical act is just a symbol. It's a token of the actual covenant. Mm -hmm. Yep. But when you take it upon yourself to get your heart circumcised, that's when you are truly showing that conviction and dedication to actually adhere to the instruction. Well, yeah, I mean, if 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 your heart's circumcised, you're going to be you're going to be compelled and led to go all the way and uh, and you know do it physically as well, you know. Absolutely. All right. So, wait, wait. so we have there is written that uh, the Messiah was physically circumcised. I ask that because I thought in today's age, 
um, new circumcision is of the heart. Uh, yes, Messiah was physically circumcised. It says specifically, let's see. Uh, let me find it real fast. Uh, I don't recall it off the top. Well, of why are you looking for that one? Um, it says in is it Genesis that all males was going to be circumcised on the eighth day. And so he would have been right along with that. Why are you looking for that specific verse about him specifically? But all males were circumcised on the end of the day. And then I'll bring up the next week's tour portion while he's looking for that verse. So you guys can screenshot, write it down, take a picture, whatever you need. And I'll read it out. It's uh, Exodus 13. Verse 17, all the way through Exodus chapter 17, verse 16. As well, we got Judges chapter 4, verses 4, all the way through Judges chapter 5, verse 31. And John chapter 6, verses 15 through 70. So that's next week's tour portion. Ah, found it. All right. It's uh, uh, Luke uh, chapter 2, verse 21. Uh, hang on. I'll go ahead and read it too. Um, Luke chapter 2, verse 21. So I knew it was in there. I knew it was there. Um, here we go. So it says... Um, and when eight days were accomplished for the circumcising of the child, his name was called Yahusha, which was so named of the angel before he was conceived in the womb. So. And that's also, uh, they mentioned being circumcised on the eighth day in Leviticus 12 and 3 and in Genesis chapter 17 as well. Mm -hmm. And it also even goes on further in chapter 22. It says, and when the days of her purification, according to the law of Moses, were accomplished, they brought him to Jerusalem to present him unto the master. So, um, And also, that's one of those other things. So, so you go ahead, Kita. Go ahead. Now, I was going to say, so the question, um, oh. just for clarification, um, so the sojourners, were if they made the circumcision of the heart because it seemed like that faith part that's supposed to come first mm -hmm. in order to partake in the rest of the god-given feast they needed to be circumcised so well, it, it actually just says passover it actually just says passover so by passover. Okay. they could they could participate in all the other feasts um just not passover it's not passover so if um as a grown man we, we are to assume that past the eighth day, these men who uh, wanted to be sojourners but still become Hebrew, they received the sign of circumcision. Mm hmm. Yep. Okay. Abraham was like 80 years old when he did it. And he had all of his uh, all of his servants, everyone in his house circumcised. As well. Yeah, just everybody lined them up. Yeah. Ishmael was uh what does it mean? Ishmael was thirteen when he got circumcised. I think. Yeah, thirteen. He was thirteen. Because that's when um Isaac that's when uh, he found and got the word from the most high and Isaac was circumcised. Correct. It, it, Ishmael it, was interestingly, crazy. Isaac was the first one to be circumcised on the eighth day. Yep. Yeah. Because that's when it happened. That's when the, the the instruction was given. You was about to say something, Marquita? Um, yes. So, what do you think or know that it means? Like, so here's how I see it. Like, the logic approach is okay. A man, grown man, can say, "Yes, I want to uh, follow the Torah and stuff like that." I don't really want to get circumcised for whatever reason. It hurts. Um, I just won't partake in the Passover. Like what? What does that look like? Like what does that mean? Well, does that mean disobedience? 
two parts, two parts to that, right? So this is talking about the strangers who were sojourning. So the non-Israelites who were living amongst the Israelites during this time. And it was saying that they couldn't partake in the Passover. They couldn't be a part of the festivities. But if there was a proselyte, now the proselytes were already trying to learn the Torah, learn the culture, worship the most high, be a part and ingrained in the culture, right? Those, they could partake in the Passover if they got circumcised. So like the, the example of the, the gentleman you mentioned, if he says, you know, I want, I want to, you know, believe in the most high, I want to, I want to do everything except I don't want to get circumcised. So I, I'm, I'm okay with not taking a Passover. That's still disobedience. Cause if he's, if he's convicted and trying to truly serve the most high, that's a part of it. Circumcision is a part of it. We're uh, observing Passover as a part of all the feasts because all of the feasts we were commanded to keep. Right. So if, if he's just worried about the pain being in the goat already, then that's just something he got to overcome because and that's why we that's why we mentioned like the circumcision of the heart because the circumcision of the heart is that internal mental and spiritual agreement of conviction to be able to go out and make your actions speak louder than your words to actually do whatever it is you're supposed to do to be you know to 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 be obedient basically so I would say that individual doesn't have his heart circumcised just yet and he should probably look inward before making any decisions that's yeah because i mean after all look at the pain that pain has nothing on what messiah went through right for us <laughs> look at absolutely yeah. plus we got medicine we can be pansies these days they got injections oh. and <laughs> also, also, I'll go in and say as well. Um, yeah, yeah. These days, you can use. You know, you could have it. You know, you could have have a, a an anesthesiologist do it, and and you know, get you, you know, whatever, all the painkillers and stuff, um, numb it up and things. But um, um, another thing to note on that is that circumcisions these days are not being done correctly. Um, and they, the way that they're done now would be a ton more painful than an actual circumcision should be. And, um, yeah, it's so that's, yeah, that's a whole, that's a whole other can of worms. Um, you know, maybe, maybe one day we should have, uh, we should have Troy on again and have him talk about the, uh, circumcision. I'm down. Did, 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 did you ever see that, um, PowerPoint presentation he put together about it? No, I just I just remember him speaking on it when he came on the show the last time. Plus, um, a couple years back, you were telling me about like the process mm -hmm. of how they like the, the circumcision of today is not the circumcision um, during the biblical times. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, but yeah. All right. Well, with that being said, let's go ahead and get started with trivia night. <clears throat> so, memory serves me correctly, Professor S, Sister Kaylee, and Sister Jasmine won. They had the highest. They didn't miss any questions last week. So, they started with a bonus point. So, I'm going to give them a bonus point. I got everybody's um, everybody's name written down. So, I'm going to keep tallies of the correct correct uh, answers and was it I'm, I'm sorry uh, I don't know the, how to pronounce the name Dodab I'm sorry. I want to get your, your correct name so I can write it down and know who I'm asking Marquita is that is that your grandma you invited tonight Yes. Okay. What what name would you like me to uh to refer Dorita. to? Dorita. Dorita. Okay. Hi, precious. All right. <coughs> yeah, 
Yeah, Shabbat Shalom to everybody who came on afterwards. Sister Doretha, Sister Aaliyah. Glad to have y'all on here. All right, mm -hmm. so pretty much how we do it, I'll bring up the question and then I'll um, give us a 30 second timer. And then you just, I'll call on everybody and, and ask what your answers are and then I'll write it down. And then I'll reveal what the correct answer is. You know, I just thought before you started, I just thought about, I don't know if that, have you ever played like, what is it? I think it's called Jack, Jackbox. No, games. I haven't played it. It's like an interactive one where you can use your browser or like an app. And then like when you have questions, you, everybody can like answer, but it's like an interactive. And then I think it tallies or adds up, but I don't know if Jackbox does that or one of those online ones. I played it with my job before. It was, it was kind of fun though. Or I don't know if you can customize it. Oh. I've only used like Survey Monkey, <laughs> all that stuff like that. Yeah. All right. So let's go. Question number one. Question number one. Which of the following wasn't a plague of Egypt? A, darkness, B, a river of blood, C, the staff turned into a snake, or D, frogs? Take a good look. 30 second count is about to start, and we'll come back and see what everybody got as their answers. All right, welcome back, welcome back. All right, I'm gonna just go down the list. Go down the list. Actually, I'm gonna ask Professor S. Last on purpose. <laughs> I'm gonna ask you last on purpose. All right. My team, what y'all got over there? That would be... He said the staff turning into a snake. Yeah. See? For all of y'all? Yep. Yes. Okay. Brother Greg, what you got? The same one, C as in Charlie. Staff turned into a snake. Okay. My son said A, uh, D, and my daughter said A. Sister Andy. Yeah, here. Um, D. You said D. Yes, D. Is your boys with you tonight, or is it just you? It's just me. Okay. Sister Tess and Sister Cindy. Okay. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> um. Hmm. This is kind of like a trick question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go with my first thought. The river of blood be what you <clears throat> answer, Cindy. My original answer, I um D. Okay, D. Sister Aaliyah. Yeah. I think it's C, but like Sister Doretha, what answer did you come up with? Can y'all hear me? Hmm. 
Greg, your mic's on. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I said C. Aaliyah said C. I had to fix my problem. Sorry. <laughs> okay, you good. <laughs> okay. Brandy came. She left. I'm waiting for her to pop back on in here. I like the name De Deb or Yah. <laughs> I like that. Well, while we waiting on that, Sister Deborah, you answer. You got. Uh, she put it in the chat. She put C in the chat. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't be watching the chat like that. Okay. Okay. When she comes back, I'll I'll reveal the answer. But I mean, I'll ask her what her answer is. But the answer is C. The correct answer is C. The question was, which of the following wasn't a plague in Egypt? The three days of darkness did happen. The river of blood did happen. And the, the frogs covering the land did happen. No. <laughs> okay, at first, I was like, it, it kind of threw me off when I first read it. I didn't think about it. Wait a minute. The staff, that wasn't a plague. That was just a like a... Um, yeah. It was a demonstration. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. My bad, Professor S, but I kind of knew you already knew the answer to that one. So I just I was yeah. like, let me let me let me let him go last because if he says something, folks be like, Well, we know he the professor. So you probably got the answer right. So <laughs> oh, sorry, can't hear you. I'm gonna always I'm gonna always pick you last. <laughs> I'll always pick you. <laughs> All right. All right. Question number two. Question number two. What scripture gives the biblical definition of sin? What scripture gives the biblical definition of sin? Is it John chapter three, verse four? Is it Leviticus chapter 12, verse two? Is it Revelations chapter 14, verse 12, or is it 1 John chapter 3, verse 4? Um, All right, I'll give you 30 seconds. Thank you. Come back for the answers. All right. Sister Andy, what we got? What we got? What answer you got? Oh my gosh, I don't know this one. <laughs> I'm just knowing it. Let's say D. Okay. I don't. I don't know this one at all. Okay. The Y team, what y'all got? Haley over there shaking that pencil like she ready. <laughs> I think. Okay. There you go. Oh, I don't know. Marquita, are we teammates? <laughs> no, y'all are teammates. Y'all individual. He said, he said no because I got extra bonus points, which means I can afford to get this question wrong. Okay, so what you say? I need some more time to think. Okay, I'm gonna go. And I just read Revelations the other day. I don't know. Can, man, can can I get skipped, please? <laughs> okay, yeah. fine, fine, fine. I'm gonna go see. I'm gonna go see. You always go see. That's what you go. I say. <laughs> okay. You said you heard me right. You said what? I said B. You said B. Bravo. Okay. 
Is uh is you and Kaya partnered up or is she giving her own answers? He's unavailable. Okay. Just cross, <laughs> cross her out. <laughs> All right, sister Jasmine. Go cross my baby. Okay, just dropped out. Sister Tess and Sister Cindy. Um, Cindy says, D, I'm not sure because I don't know what each scripture says. So I'm I'm just going to go with um, C. Okay. I'm guessing. Okay, Jasmine said D, Deboya said D, Greg said D. Y'all y'all just making me look at the at the the uh the chat today, huh? <laughs> just making <laughs> no so <double> work. <laughs> right, got me working hard enough. Just hard enough to do the whole stream. <laughs> and put together the quiz. D <laughs> Kiddo say D. Uh, Sister Leah, what you got? Can everyone hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Yes, sir. It, it froze for a minute. Sorry about that. No, you're good. You're good. <laughs> Sister Aaliyah, what's your answer for number two? Mm -hmm. Oh, she had, uh, she had one John 24 in the chat. Oh, I see it. Okay. Y'all are here. It got me working. <laughs> Got me working. Did I miss anybody? I, I said D. If, if you didn't hear. Okay. Did I ask you, Sister Andy? Did you give your answer? All right. Well, the answer is D, First John. Yeah. Chapter 3, verse 4, gives the biblical definition of sin. It says, he that transgress, trans, transgresses the, the law also commits sin, for sin is the transgression of the law. I'm paraphrasing, but basically that's what it says. Hmm. Oh, uh, Professor S, someone has a question for you. Did you actually know that that was the answer? Yes, I did. So okay, so you didn't help with the trivia night. No, no, I, no, I, did, I didn't help make any Dad, of these questions. You just, so you just knew off rip. Uh huh. Yep. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll put this together myself. I, yeah, I, you I, know I, what? I, I'm gonna alternate every once in a while. I'm gonna let him let him put it together so I can participate. I want to have fun too. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, all right. Number three. Number three. Which of the following is permitted to do on the Sabbath? Which of the following is permitted to do on the Sabbath? A, buying any goods or services. B, getting your ox out of a ditch. C, conducting business affairs. Or D, selling any goods or services. 30 seconds, 30 seconds.
the ladies coming back? All right, all right. Let me check the chat first since y'all got me working out here. Goodness. <laughs> <laughs> y'all got, got a brother out here working. <laughs> got like three screens. You got three screens up. <laughs> I need I need to have three screens up. Soon. Uh, uh, all right, Tess and Cindy, what you got? I have B getting your I, ox out of a ditch. Yeah, and I said B too. Okay. All right, we got Sister Andy, what you got? B. Okay. And the Y team. We put B, aka easy. <laughs> okay. 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 Let's see here. All right. Is the correct answer? Mm. How many He's questions are on tonight's trivia? Same as last time. It's uh, 20, 15, 20, 20 in a bonus, and the bonus okay. is worth two points. Yeah. So, yeah, all of these you can't do on the Sabbath except getting your ox out of a ditch. You can get your ox out of a ditch. If he falls into a ditch, it is permissible on the Sabbath to get him out. Next question. Next question. Number four. Number four. What happens to a woman that is found guilty of adultery without any witnesses? Keyword. And I'm just get out this one hint because I made this test a little bit harder than the last week's because we had too many people get like everything right. So I want to give a little bit more difficulty, but. What happens to a woman that is found guilty of adultery without any witnesses? Without any witnesses is the key there. All right. 30 seconds, y'all. 30 seconds. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I got to get the answers. A, she is exiled permanently. B, she is stoned to death. C, she is cursed. Or D, she is beaten by the husband. Exiled permanently, stoned to death. She's cursed or she's beaten by her husband. 30 seconds. Let me check the chat. Y'all got me working out here. Okay. Oh, yeah. I just want to get out when I'm ready to eat. It's from the show. I know it's from the show. I remember. You wouldn't watch that show. Everybody just said, All right. Sister Andy, what you got? Somebody said. Sister I am Tess. not sure <laughs> this one. I said um hmm, A. Okay. I'm really not sure. Tess and Cindy. Okay. Um I'm gonna say um C. C and Cindy. I think you brought it down for me. Oh, Cindy said C. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, 
The Watting. We said B as in Bravo. B as in Bravo. Yep. Sister Jasmine. I'm gonna say uh, what is these things? Stone to death. Is that the stone or the Um B. B? Yeah, I'll go with B. Okay. Now I'm looking at the chat. Okay. <clears throat> And I'm trying to see if I missed anybody. I said B. You said B, Aaliyah? You changing I, it from C to B? Oh, no, 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 C. I'm not changing it. <laughs> okay, because that's what you put in the chat. All right, Professor S, what you got? C. All right, C. And the correct answer is C. Hmm. That's why I say emphasis on without any witnesses. If there if there was witnesses and she was brought before the elders, she'd be stoned to death. They'd kill her. Right? Okay. Nobody so get exiled. Because it says without. But without is any witnesses. She found guilty. So how would she be found guilty if she didn't have witnesses? Saying that she was guilty. Because there's it. a specific process. So if there's no witnesses and the husband, the scripture says, has the spirit of jealousy, <laughs> but basically he suspects that she committed adultery, he can let the elders know. She'll go before the elders. And then the priest will ask her to basically swear an oath, saying that, you know, she's telling the truth or whatever. And then after she does that, then he will um, create this concoction. Basically, he takes I think water and ash and mix it mixes it together. Yes, yeah, so he has to then, write out. He has to write out a bunch of curses. Yeah, the scroll, and then he blots it into a cup, and she has to drink it. She has to drink it. And if she's telling the truth and she didn't commit adultery, she'll be fine. But if she's lying, then her thigh will rot and her belly will swell, and she all of the curses that are written down will come upon her. Should be cursed. For so what it's worth, it's a little ambiguous because we took it to me like she didn't have any witnesses in her favor. She's already found guilty, but she didn't have any witnesses saying that she was not guilty. Just saying. Mm. But okay. okay. I could totally get why you why you got that part. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but anytime you're talking about witnesses, you don't have to worry about witnesses in your defense because if you get convicted of something it's all the witnesses that come against you because everything must be established in two or three witnesses and if you don't have two or three witnesses according to hebrew culture that's when you bring it up before the elders and you can still be found guilty even without witnesses it's yes but you can't you, no one can be put to death without the uh the word of uh a minimum of two witnesses correct which is why she's cursed and not killed. Like, for example, with uh, with David and Bathsheba, right? Um, according to the Torah, David and Bathsheba should both be stoned, but um, uh, there wasn't witnesses. He did it in secret, so. But he also wasn't found guilty. Um. Well, yeah, I mean, I mean, he didn't have a trial or anything like that. I mean, he didn't take himself to the to the elder <coughs> ring like that. But the if if there had been, let's say, um, let's say, um, her husband realized what had happened, right? Instead of getting murdered, he realized what what had happened and went and tried to uh, um, have him taken, you know, to the elders. There wouldn't have been. Uh, there wouldn't have been witnesses. So 
Um, even even had even had Uriah done that, it, it would have been clear, obvious, um, but there wouldn't have been witnesses. Oh, praise! Let's go. Next question, number five: Who is the man that was killed for sinfully withholding money from the apostles for land sold? Who is the man that was killed for sinfully withholding money from the apostles for land sold? Is it A, Ananias, B, Judas, C, Ahab, or D, Barabbas, or Barabbas, depending on where you go and how they say it? A, Ananias, B, Judas, C, Ahab, or D, Barabbas? And you got 30 seconds. Genesis and Akari, just read the question and come up with y'all answer while I ask everybody else. I know y'all was switching back to the tablet. So, Tess and Cindy. Okay. A. I say A, Ananias, and Cindy says the same thing. Okay. Sister Andy. Sister Andy, what answer you got? I'm going to go with A. Okay, we got everybody answer. All right, Akari and Genesis, what y'all got? What letter? I'm going with um. Akari wants to go with. Um, I'm going A. I'm going. He a. wants to go with A and C Y. Okay. It's and Professor I'm S. Yes, I'm going with A. Professor <laughs> S is going. And the correct answer is A, Ananias. It is in the book of Acts, chapter 5. Did you ask for a Y team? Yeah, you didn't ask. Oh, shoot. What answer y'all have? We have. Okay. Definitely did. Okay. We got it, but okay, you okay. forgot about it. <laughs> my bad, my bad. <laughs> Just like the forgotten son. Look here. Y'all got me going all over the place. I'm looking at chats and text messages to try to get these answers. <laughs> <laughs> I got my phone. I got my phone over here. I'm over here checking out. Look over here at the chat. Look at the <laughs> uh, we, we can put it in the chat. We'll put it in the chat to help you out. <laughs> cool. And next question. Number six, number six. This is a true or false. So y'all got a 50-50 shot. Even if you don't know it, you got a 50-50 shot. We are now fully and completely entered into the new covenant. We are now fully and completely entered into the new covenant. True or false? True or false? 30 seconds.
right, Tessa. Cindy, what you got? Um, we both got the false. Okay. Uh, Sister Andy. False. Okay. Akari and Genesis. Um, we oh. Akari wants to choose false, 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 false. He no, two, two, two. He wants two, two. So, two, two. Which one is it? A or B? A or B. A, A. He, he wants to choose A and I want to choose B. A. All right. Did I miss anybody? Professor S. Sorry, Professor S. Go oh. ahead. False. False. And the correct answer is false. All righty. Next question. What is the name of the woman who was a judge in Israel during the time of the judges? During the time of the judges is the hint. During the time of the judges. What is the name of the woman who was a judge during the time of the judges? A, Esther, B, Deborah, C, Tamar, or D, Zipporah? 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Tess and Cindy, what you guys got? I've got B, and Cindy said B as well, Deborah. Okay. All righty. Sister Andy? I say B as well. Okay. And Genesis and Akari. What's your answer? I choose um, B as well. Okay. The Y team. Oh, they put it in the chat. They both put oh, B. Okay, yeah. okay <laughs> gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. And Professor S. B. All right. Cool, cool. And the correct answer is. B. Give me one second so I make sure I'm getting everything correct for all of the tallies. We got it right. Let's go. Everybody went down. Next question. What is the name of the first biblical month? What is the name of the first biblical month? The, the hint on this one is we had a similar question to this last week and it caused a little confusion. So I wanted to play play a little hard on this one by bringing this question up. What is the name of the first biblical month? Is it A, Sabbath, B, Pentecost, C, Abib, or D, New Moon? The first biblical month, 30 seconds.
right. Sister Tess and Sister Cindy, which y'all got? I got C, Abib. Uh, I said C, Abib first. Just saying. <laughs> okay. Sister Andy? C, Aviv. All right. Akari and Genesis? Okay. I don't know if you saw what we put. I got it. I got it. And Professor S. Uh, C. Aviv. And the answer is C. Aviv. Last week I said, what is the name of the first day of the biblical month? And some people picked a B because I made it an option, but that was actually the first biblical month. So I wanted to go back to kind of confuse y'all a little bit. I don't know if y'all remember that question from the, from the last time because it's been so I do. a little while. But you know, trying to keep it interesting. Next question: Which of these are not one of the captivities of Israel? Which of these are not? one of the captivities of Israel. The Aramaic captivity, the Babylonian captivity, the Egyptian captivity, or the Assyrian captivity. A, Aramaic captivity, B, Babylonian captivity, C, Egyptian captivity, or D, Assyrian captivity. 30 seconds. Yeah, Assyrian was uh, letter B, Aaliyah. All right, Sister Tess and Sister Cindy, what answer you guys got? I say A, Aramaic captivity, and I said A. All right, Sister Andy. I said C. Okay. What else? What am I missing? I heard you, Sister Tess. Cindy, did you? What letter did you say? Cindy. Oh, I said A, but now I'm looking like oh, A. <laughs> okay. Jen said A. What did Akari say? A. What letter? It's in the chat. Yep. It says Jen A. It don't say nothing about Akari. What did he pick? <clears throat> It says Akari said C. Oh, I didn't see. I'm looking down. All right, cool. And Professor S. Sorry. Ah, uh, yeah. Professor S says A. A is the correct answer. All right, next one, number 10, number 10. What was Peter confused about in Acts chapter 10? What was Peter confused about in Acts chapter 10? A, why Cornelius wanted to meet him. B, how the Gentiles got the Holy Spirit. C, why Gentiles wanted him to speak or D, what the vision of animals meant. Why Cornelius wanted to meet him. How the Gentiles got the Holy Spirit. Why Gentiles wanted him to speak. 
or what the vision of the animals meant. And one person on this call recently did a study with me, so they better get this answer right. You already know who I'm talking to. I ain't gonna say no names, but you already know. <laughs> 30 seconds. <laughs> Peter confused about Cornelius wanted to meet him, how the Gentiles got the Holy Spirit, why Gentiles wanted him to speak, and what the vision of the animals meant. Tess and Cindy, what's your answer? A, B, C, uh, or D? I say D. Cindy. Oh, okay. I said D. I'm sorry. D. Mm -hmm. Okay, Sister Andy, what you come up with? D. D, okay. Um, let me look at the chat real quick. Kaylee would like clarification about something. I feel like yours. Okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> clarification. What are you talking about on, on Bible study? You just did a Bible study with. You weren't talking about me, right? No. Okay, no. okay. Just making sure because you did. Oh, you did mention that last time, but I can't remember. Okay. <laughs> Check the chat. <laughs> she told on herself. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, let's see. Yeah. Kaylee, I still need your answer. Aaliyah, I need your answer before I ask Professor S. Aaliyah put it in the chat. I find in there. It's in the chat. Yeah. I put D. With an LOL laugh face. Oh, it just, it's so many fill up. I only look at the last few. I don't, let me get these answers written down. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 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 I see it now. Yeah. Yeah. It does. It yeah. fills up quick. It fills up quick. I have to look up. I'm thinking, those yeah, I can, like the I can say it if you want. If that's easier, I could just say it instead of putting the chat, you know, because it's easier to just kind of keep, just hear it. Okay. No biggie to me. All these right now. Okay. Okay. I think I got everybody. Wait, Professor no. S, what answer? I have me. Uh, are we talking about like? Is this answer? <laughs> Is it? Are you trying to change your answer for we go? Because well, I, I see it in the chat. I didn't give an answer. But I didn't put an answer. Oh, but I, yeah, she did. So I just wanted to make sure we talking about like at some okay. point was confused or like he was confused. <laughs> like something happened that he was confused, like legit, legitimately confused about. As in to say he did not get an answer. Like he did not know what it was, right? Yes. He didn't know. Initially, he didn't know. Yes. Okay. So, if that's the case, D. <laughs> Attorney <laughs> Peter at law. All right. And the correct answer is D. I mean, we can go over it again. I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Okay. Oh. Um, <laughs> that's what some people say when they... Because I'm, I'm, I pulled it up again. My notes... <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. So what, what when Peter was sitting up on a rooftop and he had a vision of all the animals coming down on the sheet, carpet, whatever you want to call it, it was clean animals and unclean animals. And he heard a voice that says to kill and eat. But he knew he wasn't supposed to kill and eat everything because not all of that was clean. But he went back and forth with this voice that he heard three separate times. And then after the third time, the animals go back up into the heavens, and then he wakes up. But it said in two separate instances in Acts chapter 10 that he was confused and he didn't know what the vision meant. He was thinking about the vision for a, a good little while before 
he realized what the vision truly meant when he met with um, the people who, who uh, brought him to Cornelius and then when he finally met Cornelius. So, next question. What is the name of the priesthood that was instituted because of transgression? What is the name of the priesthood that was instituted because of transgression? Sister, Sister Andy, I got your answer for the last question, didn't I? Um, yeah, I said it was uh, D okay. on the last one. Okay, just making sure I didn't miss you. Okay. Yeah, so what was the name of the priesthood that was instituted because of transgression? A, the Messianic priesthood, B, the Levitical priesthood, C, the Essene priesthood, or D, the Melchizedek priesthood. Messianic, Levitical, Essene, Melchizedek. 30 seconds. Sister Andy, what you got? It's B, Levitical. Okay, Sister Tess and Sister Cindy. I'm saying B. Um, I didn't. Cindy didn't get to see the question. She had to run, grab something real quick. Um, what was the name of the priesthood that was instituted because of the trans because of transgression? Messianic, Levitical, Essene, Melchizedek. Uh, Levitical, I think. Okay, she says B, Levitical. What about you? Um, B. Okay. And Jen says B, Car says A. Okay. Um, okay. B. Professor X. Yeah, uh, B. And it's correct. That is correct. Next question. Why did the Messiah ignore the woman who was asking for help for her daughter? Why did the Messiah ignore the woman who was asking for help for her daughter? A, she was wicked. B, they were in a hurry. C, she was not an Israelite. Or D, his disciples asked him not to. We also went over this too, right? This is it, that question, that chapter. I gave you one hint. I ain't giving you another hint. All right. <laughs> 30 seconds. <laughs> Sister Andy. Um, C. Okay. And Tess and Cindy. I say C. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I said C. <clears throat> okay. Jen in the car. Okay. And Professor S. C. All right. And the answer I is said C. Well, I said that. I said that. Yeah. So can you ask? 
Did you get our answer? We had technical difficulties. What answer y'all put? We, we said C. C, but we okay. had technical difficulties. <laughs> no worries. Got them. Got got everything recorded. All right. Next question. Approximately how many laws are there? Approximately how many laws are there? A, 1,269, B, 613, C, 247, or D, 957. How many laws are there approximately? 1,267, 613, 247, and 957. 30 seconds. Sister Tess and Cindy, what you got? I have B. <coughs> Sorry. Um, I said B. B? Yes. Okay. Sister Andy, what you got? I selected B. All right. And Professor S. B. <clears throat> B is the correct answer. Next question. What did King Solomon ask for from the Most High when he became king over Israel? What did King Solomon ask from the Most High when he became king over Israel? A, power, B, knowledge, C, riches, or D, wisdom? A, power, B, knowledge, C, riches, or D, wisdom? 30 seconds. Sister Tess and Sister Cindy, what you got? Second. I say D, wisdom. Yeah, I said D, wisdom, too. Okay. I said it first. Sister Andy? <laughs> he asked for wisdom, D. Okay. Got, I got y'all, Marquita and Kaylee. Got you recorded. And I think that's everybody. Professor S, what you got? Ali, I'm going to address what you said in a second. I guess. Um, <clears throat> oh, uh, never mind. Uh, it's uh, D. All right. The correct answer is D. So Aaliyah said in the chat, she says, wait, wisdom equals knowledge too. But then again, logical knowledge isn't always wise, huh? So it was this was a trick question. I knew knowledge, throwing knowledge in there would throw a lot of people off, maybe. A lot of people got this one right, so I guess y'all ain't y'all ain't fall for it. But wisdom is <laughs> wisdom isn't is different from knowledge, right? Mm -hmm. Um the difference the difference between knowledge and wisdom is experience. An application so you can be knowledgeable about a subject but that don't mean you necessarily wise 
And you can be book smart, not street smart. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Y'all did good. Good, good job. The answer is D. Next question. How many, now this one's going to get a couple people. How many horns does the beast in Revelations have that causes the world to worship the first beast? Does one and does wonders like causing fire to rain down? So, how how many horns does this beast have? This beast, he caused the world to worship the first beast, and he did wonders causing fire to rain down. This is a beast of revelations. Is it A seven horns, B ten horns, C two horns, or D six horns? Is Seven it the beast horns. that comes out of the? Is it the beast that comes out of the earth? It's the beast that causes the first <laughs> the, world, okay. the world to work with the first beast, and okay. does wonders like bring fire down. He's the only one that did that. Let's see. <laughs> so, is it seven horns, ten horns, two horns, or six horns? Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. Sister Tessie, Sister Cindy, what you got? Um, I have B, 10 horns. I had, I had B. Okay. All right. Um, Andy? I said A, seven horns. Okay. And... Okay. What else we got? Um, I think that's everybody. Wait, 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 wait. Yep, that's everybody. Go ahead, Professor S. C. Dang, I was trying to trip you up. <laughs> I, I, I got everybody. I got the, only, the only two people that got it right was Akari and Joel. <laughs> oh, wow. See two horns. Hey, <laughs> oh. I can't. I can't get him to get something wrong with save my life. Hey, I'm gonna just take you out of these, bro. You know, what Wait, you mean? right? So that's Doctor I mean. that's in my name. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! I didn't mean to put B in the chat. I meant to put C. Chat check. Ooh. Oh, Doctor So, so, Me too. so wait. The first beast was the one with the seven horns. He don't have seven oh, horns. It was. I'm gonna, it was it, I'm gonna read it because I knew I knew yeah, there was gonna be some. Wasn't yeah, there a piece with seven horns? I knew, I knew horns? there was gonna be some clarification needed. That's why I got this so, for you. Where the seven yeah, come in is in uh, it's it's talking about the angels. It's in Revelations. Hold on, I got you. Revelations uh, chapter 13. fifteen. Okay. Talk about the seven angels. Revelations thirteen. It says. I looked it up. I just put the wrong answer, but I know it was two. Verse 11. Okay, verse. The second beast? Yep. 11. Yep. And I beheld, like verse 11. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he mm -hmm. had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon, and he exercised all the power of the first beast before him, and causes the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast. Whose mm. death wound was healed, and he doth great wonders, so that he make maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. Okay, so, so, first okay, so, so yeah. this is another beast. So yeah. this is this is Jasmine. Can mine be changed? Because I literally just looked that answer up. That actually put the wrong thing. <laughs> you said what? I literally just like looked for that answer, and I put B, and I just realized I put it, but I meant to put C. Mm hmm. Oh no! 
Jasmine, we love you. It's fine. I'll get the bonus question. Look, it's fine. I'll get the bonus question. Can we talk about this first beast first? First beast had ten horns. See, I was I was thinking of the first beast. Yeah, cause it cause it does say right here. It says the another beast, and but then again, I remember the first beast said it has ten horns. Yeah, I know that's everybody's mind. Rec rec they, their recollection recollection yeah. goes straight to ten horns. Yeah, yeah, that's why I put it in here as an option because I know they mind. Like, oh yeah, the beast of Revelation ten horns. Right, yeah. I was like it's automatic, that's, but that's what I did. Because <laughs> I went there first and I was like, no. <laughs> trickery, trickery. Yeah, Why did you yeah. worry that way? That's why I added extra. Like, he causes the world to worship the first beast and he does wonders, like causing fire to rain down. To oh, give, like, uh, I have read it because you, you want to put the one and the ST instead of the F I R S T. Okay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> what is the one ST? That was a space. I, <laughs> I I have read it. It was like my mind skipped over it. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> All right, let me make sure. See. I got everybody answers. I think I got everybody answers. Okay. Yep. I skipped over the words, not the one. Next question: True or false? So you half and half. The scriptures say that we are actually gods. <clears throat> True or false? The scriptures say that we are actually gods. 30 seconds. Sister Andy. I thought I read that somewhere, so I'm going to go with true. I think it, I did kind of somewhere in the back of my head remember Psalms something. 82. Like that. It's Psalms 82. Are we giving oh, okay. the, the scriptures just yet? Folks are still giving <laughs> answers. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, I don't see, let me, before I say I don't see something, let me scroll up and look, to see, what we got. okay, I don't see a Kyrie and Genesis answer yet, Tessa, um, you guys got, I think false, who said false, um, a Kari said false, and I said true, okay, Tess and Cindy? A. It's okay. true. Cindy. Um, true. A. Sorry. All right. And okay, buddy. Professor S. A. That one was too easy. I had to. I was trying to make up for some of the difficulty questions. That the, the horns question, I felt bad for a little bit, so I do it from the end. <laughs> just, a, just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The scripture says that ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. You should feel bad. That was a trick question. <laughs> How was that wasn't a trick question. That was an easy question. No, I'm talking about the previous question, not this one. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I do feel a little bit bad. <laughs> <laughs> Man, look, I got, I got to have fun too now, right? I'm not in this with y'all, so I got to have fun on my end. <laughs> mm, okay, you'll slide this time. <laughs> gonna stay mad at you for like a week, <laughs> right? <laughs> you gonna be mad at me until next about talk. <laughs> All right. Uh, 
number 17 when does the biblical day begin when does the biblical day begin a in the evening when the sun sets b in the morning when the sun rises or c somewhere between the two in the evening in the morning or somewhere in between the two 30 seconds Andy. Um, I'm gonna go with A in the evening when the sun sets. Okay, Sister Tess and Sister Cindy. Um A. Okay, Cindy's choosing A. Um I'm unsure about this. I I shouldn't have this. I'm gonna say A in the evening. No, can it's I, in the morning. B, B. Can I change it, please, to B? <laughs> I'm sorry. Wait, 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 wait. I need a clarification. Can I talk about it? <laughs> All right, hold that thought. Hold that same thought. One second. Um, Lifeline. All right. Without it. <laughs> hold, hold that thought. One second. Okay. I'm looking at... Um, I know Jen and Akari, what y'all got? In the morning, in the evening, when the sun sets, I don't know. Everybody else is saying. Akari know, said, in the chat. "You said." Akari said B, and I said B. Okay. In the morning, when the sun rises, exactly. the king yes. taught us that. Well, that's Gosh. what she said. I know. You got it right. <gasps> oh, oh, I'm sorry. Cindy said A. I'm sorry, I didn't know that I was unmuted. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. Cindy, Cindy said A initially, though. Yeah. Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Who needed a clarification? Okay, Aaliyah. Aaliyah needs clarification. Can I <laughs> She's talking so. about herself in the third person. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you say who needs I love it. I love it. No, I love it. Okay, so I want to say it's B. But does it start the evening of the previous night, like midnight or or something like that? Or does it start when the sun rise? Like, is it the previous night when it like that evening night or like I know when it ends, but the start or is it that morning, the actual no. next morning of what the you sun rise? Is the answer to the question? I can't give you that. <laughs> I need some clarification. <laughs> she needs some clarification. <laughs> answering is what you need. So here's the la last call for any last minute changes to anybody. If anybody want to add, like, if they're not comfortable with their first answer. Okay, my first answer. Cynthia, Cynthia said A, and then she, 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 she was getting ready to switch it. Do you want to switch your answer? The Y team over there looking like they having a, a, a powwow. Did anybody want to change their answers? Did you want to change your answer? No. Oh, she said no. With that face too, so. Oh, oh okay, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's so many answers. I'm gonna be real. The Boria, if you can hear me, what answer did you give? Because I think your, your answer got mixed up. I want to make sure I got your right your, your answer down. Professor S, what answer you got? I believe I put B in the morning. Uh, B. Okay. Yeah, in the morning. I, I, I well, yeah, 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 B.
okay, so now I'm going to go from where Deboya was because she's always the first one to put her answer in and go down. Okay. Yeah, I'm looking at everybody's answer now. She done put it all together for y'all. <laughs> okay. All right. The correct answer is B. The correct answer is B. The biblical day begins when the sun rises. It's about the sun. The sun dictates when the day begins. Genesis chapter 1, verse 14. Genesis chapter 1, verse 14. The sun rules the day and the moon rules the night. B. I know it's a popular understanding out there that the biblical day is evening unto evening, but it is actually morning until morning when the sun comes up. B is the correct answer. All right, number 18. Which two feasts span an entire week? Which two feasts span an entire week? Is it A, Passover and Feast of Weeks? Is it B, Feast of Unleavened Bread and Feast of Tabernacles? Is it C, Day of Atonement and Feast of Unleavened Bread? Or is it D, Feast of First Fruits and Feast of Trumpets? Give y'all a second to be able to read all of that because I know those answers are, are lengthy. So give you a moment. Which of these two feasts span an entire week? A, B, C, D. 30 seconds. Aaliyah said, let me look at my calendar. <laughs> you got you got me, the boy y'all, and Ebony over here. <laughs> Sheesh. All right. <laughs> All right. Sister Andy, what answer you got? <laughs> I said B. I'm not sure. I think it's B. Okay. <laughs> All right. Test and Cindy. All right, Aaliyah, you, why are you getting your calendar? I need an answer. <laughs> I say B. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right. Give Tess and Cindy a second to come back in. Yep, she said that they got kicked out. They're trying to get back in. They'll be in in a second. <clears throat> Jen and Akari, what's y'all answer? I don't see that. Akari said he'll choose the letter A, and I said I'll choose the letter B. Okay. Tess and Cindy, what's y'all answer? 
which two feasts span an entire week, Passover and Feast of Weeks, Feast of Unleavened Bread, and Feast of Tabernacles. C is Day of Atonement and Feast of Unleavened Bread, and D is Feast of First Fruits and Feast of Trumpets. <laughs> Aaliyah, is it A or B? Which <laughs> you say B? Oh, I don't know. A or B? Which one? Is B your last answer? You doing A now? What's going on? All right, all right. I'll stick with B. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Cindy. Says you can't hear backstage. On a side note, my birthday is on a Sabbath day. Oh my goodness. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> is that Aaliyah? Huh. <laughs> oh, we got, we got, we got, we ain't did that study yet. <laughs> that's, that, that's an easy answer. Okay. <laughs> she said, okay. <laughs> Y'all are cracking me up. <laughs> Jen. Yes, sir. Aaliyah said her birthday is on the Sabbath. She doesn't know what to do. What do you think she should do? Uh, not celebrate. I mean, it is a it it, it is called a pagan day for a reason. I, I know, I know that, right? <laughs> I know what to do. It's just <sighs> be obedient. Then ignore the fact that it's on a Sabbath day. Then. Oh no, no, ma'am, no, ma'am. <laughs> Can't do that. <laughs> okay, Tess and them are having some technical difficulties. Let me call them. And get this answer real quick so we can move on to the. Next question. One second. I don't know. I feel like I'm, I'm made for greatness now. My birthday on the on the Sabbath day. My name means the exalted one. Like this, just it was meant for right, me. B is the correct answer. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's a Hebrew name. You All think right. I you say what? I I was saying good thing I stuck beside it. <laughs> <laughs> wavering right there. He was teetering. <laughs> All right. Number 19. Number 19. When we commit sin and deserve to be killed by the Most High, but are given time to repent, that is an example of blank. When we commit sin and deserve to be killed by the Most High, but we are given time to repent, that is an example of blank. 
A, reconciliation, B, mercy, C, repentance, or D, grace? Reconciliation, mercy, repentance, or grace? I ain't gonna hit the 30 second to take it away because I know Tess and Cindy just came in. So y'all can read the question. I'm gonna give y'all 30 seconds on my own time. All right. Sister Andy, what answer you got? I said Grace D. Okay. Sister Tess and Sister Cindy? I said Mercy B. I say <laughs> D, Grace. Okay. Akari and Jen? Akari says B and I say D. Okay. And Professor S. Sorry, you muted. Oh, me too. What you got, Professor S? Oh, I uh, went with uh, went with D. All right. The answer is D. Let me ask y'all a question. <laughs> When y'all give an answer and it's different from Professor S and he finally gives his answer, are y'all like, shit? <laughs> um, <laughs> <should I go? laughs> yeah, I am. I do. I think we should make Professor S go first next time. <laughs> you say you think we should make Professor S do what? Go, go first me. next time. Yes. <laughs> 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 we can have time to think about it real fast. <laughs> I have a, I have a question. Yeah. So, I don't know what if it was the last um, uh, trivia or not, but you made you had a you had a question similar to this, and I want to say the the answer was repentance last time. So I, I was kind of confused. Oh, you, now you remember. Yes, there was a question similar. I was, remember it. It was similar. Yes. It was It was the example. It was when the Messiah um, saved the woman from being stoned. That was the question. It was asking what he did was an example of. Because he, he told her to go and sin no more. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. it means to turn away from your sin. Mm -hmm. So they're, they're similar, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, these, these their uh, mercy and grace are very similar, but uh, they have slightly different meanings. Okay. What's well. the different meanings? Because I thought that the act of not giving us something that we deserve is mercy and then grace is the act of him giving us something that we don't deserve yes yes exactly because we're we're given time to repent okay so because of the fact that it has the given time to repent isn't mm -hmm. it that that's what makes it grace but if it had said deserve to be killed but right. did not kill then that would be mercy correct that's why i wrote i worded it this way to help uh-huh. <laughs> that, 
I think I should get, I think I should get half points. Uh, half points. Shade. <laughs> shade. Scantron, um, there is no change in your answer. Shade. <laughs> There's no change. I think I think I think I should get a bonus per uh for providing, you know, insight. <laughs> you you did and you started with an extra point last from last week. That was your bonus. Yeah. <laughs> Man, no, that's to cover up the four questions I already missed. But it's okay. It's okay. Okay. Number 20. Go end it with a true or false for the regular questions. Is it lawful for a man to have more than one wife and or concubine even now? Is it lawful for a man to have more than one wife and or concubine even now? True or false? 30 seconds. Sister, where you said I'm torn. <laughs> if you're torn, close the eyes and pick one. <laughs> Let me name mine and more. Okay, let's see. Not, not what you think with the with the Bible <laughs> says. All right. <laughs> All right, I'm going to start with Jasmine. What's your answer on this one? I know you came in, so you can read the question and then give me an answer. True. Okay. Uh, okay. Akari Genesis. Ooh, Akari wants to say A, and um, I'll say A as well. Okay. All right. That's Cindy. I say a true. <coughs> Cindy. Oh, true or false? Um, a true. Okay, Sister Andy. Whatever Professor S answer is, that's not. <laughs> 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 Professor S, where are you? <laughs> I'm gonna go with true. <laughs> okay, Aaliyah and Deboria. I Before say I bring true. Professor S up here. I say true, but I know we had this conversation. <laughs> But <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh, all right. And the last question. Oh, but, but bonus. But the answer was true. The answer was true. Back up off me, son. I said true. Go back over there with your sister. <laughs> you said true. You were right. Okay. Back. He up. doesn't want to come back over here with me. Oh, you want to sit here with me? Okay, go ahead. Come on. All right, next last question. This is a bonus question worth two points. Two points. Okay, okay. This is a... Uh, I mean, depending on the, the person, it could be difficult. I tried to make it a little bit more difficult. I had to make it earn the two points. <clears throat> so, bonus two-point question. The statue in Daniel... That was made of different metals, gold, silver, brass, and iron. What was the other missing ingredient of the statue in the book of Daniel? Daniel chapter 2 is the only hint I'm giving. Made out of gold, silver, brass, and iron. What was the other missing ingredient? A, stone, B, sapphire, C, clay, or D, onyx? Stone, sapphire, clay, or onyx?
<laughs> All right. Let me. I want it. Play. Okay. Sister Tess and Cindy. So you just make a noise, huh? Um, I say B Sapphire. Cindy said B as well. Yeah. Okay, Sister Andy. I'm not sure. I said D. D. Okay. And Akari, what answer you got? I think it's clay or sapphire. Pick one. Okay. And Jen, what answer you got? My answer uh, is C. Okay. What you say? Let me record these down. Okay. They're getting on me because I. <laughs> uh, yo, yo, here, boy. Yo, yo, here. Yo, yo, here. You can't be changing your answer. <laughs> I know. After I got it, I'm saying, nope, can't change it. Yeah, I, tried to... I was thinking about it with the, you know, the feet, and then it fell over. I was like, oh. Or like it crumbled. Okay. I Did I miss anybody? I don't think that I miss anybody. Hold on. Okay. All right, Professor S. The tension is building. Oh, he fell out. He not oh, even Oh, <laughs> well, you, you can uh, give me. I can. I can hold his points for him. You can add him to my. <laughs> <laughs> his battery probably died. Mm. It, it happens. Drum roll, please. Let's see if I can get a hold of him. Nope, nothing right there. Oh, daddy. Don't. He's the only one we're waiting for, right? Yeah. Yep. Hey, what's your, what's your answer to the question? I think it was C, but the answer is Clay. Okay. And you're on speaker so they can hear you. They they, they uh they be thinking we in cahoots with each other. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Ain't nobody in cahoots. <laughs> I, I didn't know what, what any of these what any of these questions were gonna be. Yeah. You coming back? Yeah, the la the correct answer is C clay. Oh, now wasn't that wasn't that the feet that was made out of clay because they crumbled or like he fell over because of yeah. the See, I was like after I put that I was like, ah, oh, I know the answer. Yeah, that was Daniel chapter two. Hold on, let me go to it. Or the legs, like feet, legs made out of clay. All right, let's see. Verse. 
Verse 32, this image's head was of fine gold, his breast and his arms of silver, his belly and his thighs of brass, his legs of iron, his feet part of iron and part of clay. Mm, okay, iron and clay, okay. Let me... I gotta, go over. gotta go back and add the points because I put one mark on here. Hold on. So I read it in 45. Uh huh. Verse 45. Okay, what did it say? I already closed my Bible. What did it say? Uh, it says, let me go back to it. Um. It states, for as much as thou saw that the stone was cut out of the mountain without hands and that it break in pieces the iron, the brass, the clay, the silver, and the gold. Oh, damn you. The great God hath made known to the king what shall come to pass hereafter. So on, so on. Yep, so even that one would have given an answer, too. Okay. Hmm. I have a question. I, I literally gave all the ingredients except one. <laughs> <laughs> What's the question, Jen? Um, what's in I think that says onyx or something? O N Y X. Yeah, onyx. The stone. It's not the Pokemon. All right, it's not the Pokemon. It's a stone. <laughs> it's yeah, like a diamond onyx. or a sapphire or a ruby. <laughs> So it's the animal. It's a stone. Oh. My bad. Okay. Let me get everybody the double points because I only put one on here. Who uh who put C for my not uh Chat private chat people for the people who say it out loud who put C. Okay. I did Genesis. Okay. Tess and Cindy, did y'all put C? No. Okay. And, okay. All right, let me tally these up. Let me tally these up. I got 15. I only missed one. So. All right, Greg, how many you say you think you had? Uh, 15. Is that what you got? Mm -mm. No. No, that's not what I got. If you got more, I'll take it. But uh. <laughs> 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 who, who was keeping tabs of their own points? I just want to know. So Greg was keeping tabs of yeah. his own. 
Yeah. I did. So I didn't count the bonus one since I did. I'll just go with the first answer and take the bite. So. Oh, you didn't count that one? No, no, I didn't. Okay. Since I so changed it after I thought about it, but I already put it in the chat. So I just, I just okay. saved the first answer. Because I got you. I'm tracking you with those two taken off, those two points. I got you at 16. Not fifteen. One, two, three, four. Five, I was doing. I was doing tally marks. Fifteen. Okay. Yeah. But I was. But I ain't perfect. perfect. That's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. Who, who was counting? Yeah, I got fifteen. Points? I got fifteen. I appreciate you counting. I know. I know, I know, I know you. You got your own points. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Kaylee got a, probably got a pen in the paper over there. <laughs> You muted. I can't hear what you're saying. Oh, so y'all are talking to me. Yes, Kaylee. I don't uh, know other Kaylee. I'm not, I'm not even going. Okay, hold on. I think I was keeping track. No, I, I keep, I'm keeping track of everybody, but I'm just asking for those who are keeping track if our numbers are the same, because I know I think I got there's what, a little what, bit of confusion through what, it. What'd you get? What'd you get? I got 18. Yeah, yeah, sound about right. <laughs> okay. No, that, that is really that's what I got though. That's what I got. Wait, are we counting the bonus points that I got from the other time? Yeah, I started you off with one. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, I'll I'll take it. I'll take it. Anybody else keeping track of their own? No. But would you? How many? How many? I got eighteen. I think I got. 20 because I got one of them wrong, but I got the bonus one. Okay. So I got Genesis with 16 points. I got Akari with nine points. I got Tess with 16 points. Cindy with 15 points. Joe with 22 points. Andy with 14 points. Marquita with 17 points. Kaylee with 18 points. Jasmine with 19 points, Deboria with 21 points, Aaliyah with 20 points, and Greg with 16 points. Let me say, Deboria came in here and was snapping. <laughs> she was snapping. <laughs> she had, she missed one of the regular questions, but she got the bonus question right. That's why that 19 went to 21. She can't, she wasn't even playing. She ain't coming to play no games today. <laughs> Good job, guys. I right, Professor S with getting everything. Even the one that I thought you was going to get wrong, you got right. <laughs> you got, you, you, I don't know. We might have to put a test together and we both just sit out because keep, <laughs> keep going, man. I can't keep giving you. You got to give him a separate test from us. <laughs> Actually, he got one wrong, but he, he started off with a bonus point, so it ended up still getting to 22. So, you know, well, yeah, three, three times you can't play <laughs> <laughs> right? <That's, laughs> <you win. laughs> okay, so uh, let's see. We got Professor S, and then outside of excluding Professor S, we got Deboria with 21, Aaliyah with 20, and Jasmine with 19. Like those were the top three aside from uh, Professor S. As I stated, you know, I was going to come back, but you know, nobody wouldn't let me change my answer. <laughs> <laughs> I love how competitive y'all get every time we do this. It gets real. I think <laughs> I like, did pretty good. You did do pretty good. 16. Great job. I'm proud of that, though. I've been in my studies, you know, Absolutely. with a great, a great help. <laughs> <laughs> we got, we got a lot more studying to do too. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to throw this back on up here again. Next week's tour portion. Take picture. If you haven't already Exodus 13 verse 17 through chapter 17 verse 16. Judges chapter 4 verses 4 all the way through chapter 5 verse 31 and John chapter 6 
verses 15 through 71. Make sure you get that reading done. I didn't do any other tickers this week, but if you like the comment for those watching, watching at home, if you like the content, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Join the discussion. Leave a, cons uh, a, a comment down below. If you want to support the platform, do so by hitting the cash app. Dollar sign USC Oalation 144. Unity and Survival Coalition 144 at the bottom. If you want to look at some everything, one stop shop for everything you need, go to lemofficial.com. Lemofficial.com. Everything you need is on there. And lastly, does anybody have anything they would like to bring up, add, discuss before we close out? Yes. I was hoping you would ask. <laughs> no, because I was just thinking about one of the things that I thought about with the Corinthians about people taking it unworthily is not only in our community, Mm -hmm. um, or, but like in Christianity, you know, he says, as often as you do this, do this in remembrance of me, but it's Passover. It's once a year. It's not every first Sunday or twice a month, however people be doing it. But even back to Exodus, you know, it's interesting to me how it was the firstborn blood of humans and the animals. So like there was no difference between the blood, you know, because, so that made me think about a verse where he's talking about if someone killed an animal, it would mm -hmm. be like they killed, I can't think of the verse right now, but it just made me think about the significance of blood and how how did the death angel know the difference? Why didn't it say, oh, this is animal blood and there's supposed to be people in there, so I need to get the firstborn of the human blood. It just saw that blood and passed right on over. So that just was kind of interesting to me that he allowed that for us. In terms of, you're talking about in terms of the the first Passover? Yes, because we, we use the blood of lambs and goats, sheep and goats um, for that first Passover and put it on the right. doorpost. And I've, I've, I've actually got something to pose about, about that. that. Something that I was thinking, thinking. Um, y'all can hear me all right, right? It's a little fuzzy. Yes. Go ahead. Is it? No. Uh, my my internet's been a little wonky for a little bit. Sorry. Um, so I was thinking something about that because you know how we're told we have to go um, select the lamb or the goat on the tenth, right? And then keep it for four days, and then yeah. slaughter it, and then slaughter it the um, on on Passover on the evening of Passover, right? Um, would it have still worked if they didn't pick the lamb out on the 10th day and keep it for four days? And, but they, they, let's say they picked it out on the uh, 13th day and, and then still sprinkled the blood and did everything else right, but they didn't do it on the 10th day. Would that blood on the doorpost have prevented it, um, prevented them from uh, getting, uh, getting taken out? Right. I don't I don't think so. I think that the four days of caring for the for the, the the lamb or the goat in your house, feeding it off your table and all of that would have altered the frequency of the blood so that it, it was actually the frequency of the blood that caused the uh, the, the death not to come in. Mm, that's a good question. That's a good question. I would just say, I mean, I would agree, I would agree with that, but I would just say 
<laughs> if we were instructed to do it a certain way and we didn't do it, we can't expect the the, the outcome yeah. Yeah. that yeah. came yeah. from the instruction of being passed over. <laughs> so if we didn't do it, like if somebody is like, yeah, uh, I'm going to give you a recipe and it's going to be very delicious. And this is the recipe that you got to do it with. And then you do the recipe except for one of the steps. You're not, it's not going to taste the same. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, I, would, if, I would agree. If you're, if you're making like chocolate cake and then it says, uh, it says, you know, two eggs and you say, well, I don't want to put eggs in it. I'll put two tomatoes instead. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's, it's not going to be very good chocolate cake. You know what I mean? And ev everything else can be perfect proportions and everything. But, you know, you put two tomatoes instead of two eggs, it's going to come out all jacked up, you know? Facts. So, yeah. Facts. But definitely something to think about, especially Sister DeBoya's point. Does any does any um does anybody else have anything they want to add before we close out? All right, right. Who cool with me? The, the white team over there grubbing down, making me hungry. I know, but I'm about to go smash the <laughs> food. <laughs> I'm about to go test some food. Up, <laughs> Told y'all, everybody is invited to Mississippi so we can Shabbat together. Absolutely. Okay. Oh, speaking of, I do got one thing for everybody. I know this is kind of last minute because we already at the end of January. But if anybody really wants to get together for Passover or any feast, we need mm -hmm. to we need to communicate and figure out where we you know where we're gonna do it. Y'all more than welcome to come to Florida and in, in, in our host, but. If if that's not feasible for everybody, we can try to like find a way to maybe meet up or something like that. But worst comes to worst, y'all are more than welcome to come to Florida. If y'all want to do Passover in person, y'all more than welcome to do so. And if not, we can do it like we did Day of Atonement. This last Day of Atonement, we can get on here. We can have like a special um, Passover episode of Shabbat Talk. Um, definitely down. Yeah. So yeah, yeah that's on March. I mean, that's on uh, March fourteenth. I mean, March twenty fourth, right? I think in the Gregorian sense. In the Gregorian. Sense. So isn't the tenth the New Year? March tenth, technically, like the the New Year, the new moon, because that's closest to like the spring equinox. Yep. And then. You mean Abib? Abib, yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. Passover is the twenty third, twenty third March. Yeah. Okay. I am well, for 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 people on the East Coast, I, I know sometimes it it differs a little bit with that. Um, but if you are, if it is different from you, if it's a different day or whatever, um, you still how far how far in Florida are we talking? <laughs> we are in Tampa, so we are. Oh, six. We are six and a half hours from Atlanta. About six hours from Atlanta. It just depends on traffic. That's 10 Go, hours. We are 10, 11 hours from Tennessee. I don't know. Marquita, wait, where y'all in, in, in Mississippi? Mississippi, the Gulf Coast. Biloxi, Biloxi. Biloxi, Biloxi Mississippi. Hold on. I'm looking it up right now. Oh, you mean rough port? <laughs> That's what they say. Oh, y'all, y'all eight and a half hours away. Y'all ain't nowhere. Yeah, we've driven that drive several times. We come down there and go to Bush Gardens. Now, look, I tell you, if we do go down to his house, there's like plenty of entertainment down there. Yeah, Wait a second. You said, you said by us. We got Disney World by us. You said it's eight and a half hours from from you? Biloxi. Biloxi. Yeah, yeah, y'all are more hours. east. So, so it's eight and a half hours for you to get, get to Biloxi? Yes. Eight hours and 21 minutes. It's eight hours and 57 minutes for me. That's because we're more west. You're already east. We got to travel east, then yeah. south. You're north. You're northeast from them. Biloxi yeah. is like almost by New Orleans. It's off, uh -huh. like off to the left. 
Yeah, you yeah. are like more like vertical. You like the right above Alabama. No. Yeah. Yeah. So. No, I'm just I'm just wondering like why it would be. Oh no! Never mind. I get it. Well, no, because when you're going through Tennessee, I'm you're not going through a straight shot. You got to go all through the mountains and stuff, and it's a roundabout. You got to follow the road. Mm -hmm. If I were to drive, that's 22 hours and 50 minutes for me. <laughs> well, you could fly, and I pick you up from the airport. Yeah, <laughs> yeah definitely would fly. I wouldn't drive. Yeah, that's that's you. You further than a stone, uh, a stone throw. <laughs> Genesis, you trying to say something? Go ahead. Unmute your mic. Um, I, I was going to say it earlier, but, um, didn't it say that they were going to kill the firstborn, like, about, like, wasn't it supposed to be about, um, for, um, Egypt's, like, um, Pharaoh's son and not like other boys, or was it supposed to be the other boys? Be it was everybody. Yeah, any 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 firstborn, <laughs> anybody that didn't put the blood from the lamb up above their doorposts was mm -hmm. the the everybody all the firstborns were, were killed that didn't have the blood. So and Pharaoh's then, son and all the other Egyptian son that didn't do it. And then my second question would be, um, when Pharaoh's son died, why would he let? like the israelites go because if he like he was really upset so if he was upset then he would probably be mad enough to not allow them to like leave so why would he let them go it was the way that it happened so well one the israelites wasn't the reason that his son died so that's part of it but then two he wanted to kind of he was like because you know 10 plagues happened Ten different things, ten different bad things happened to Egypt during that time, and each one of those times, the Pharaoh wanted to let the Israelites go a little bit more and more, but the Most High hardened his heart, meaning the Most High forced him to hold on to his 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 grudge. But by the time his son died, he was like, "I'm done, y'all. Just go, just get up out of here. I don't want nothing to do with none of y'all. I want all y'all to take all y'all stuff, take your animals, take everything." But then what's the reason why he chased them? Like, he went after them after a while. For the reason that you originally said, he was mad. Yeah, yeah he, 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 he was like, what do we do? Now, how are we going to rebuild? Are grieving, they they do it. And when people are grieving the loss of a loved one, they, are, they do weird things sometimes. When emotion is high, and tell them yes. it's low. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> all right. Well, family, I appreciate all y'all for coming. I want to. I want to on a, on next week's Shabbat talk. I want. I want to be able to not be able to get all, all the people in here. I want to it to say the maximum is ten when we get back <laughs> into the scriptures. Thursday <laughs> night. I ain't, ain't got no, no room. Man, man. Show up next. <laughs> no, I'm just messing with y'all. But yeah, so um same same time next week. Most are willing. Um I appreciate everybody. Appreciate everybody watching at home. And let may the most high bless you, keep you camp, campus angels around you, and give you peace, shalom, and the Messiah's name. Y'all be safe out there. Shalom, everybody. Shalom, everybody. Wait, wait, wait. Before we hang up, can I can I say something? Can we unmute and please give a hand clap and encouragement to these babies. They really need that because there's so much that they could be doing. They could be in them stupid games. They could be on that television. But these babies knew what they was like. Didn't they beat somebody? They ain't beat me. Uh, <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hey, Marquita, look, look, look. Let me show you. Look, hey, he know. That's why he laughed. Look, hey, I put him on the spot. Look, hey. So what, what he said. said well, you said they could be on these games and da 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 da, right? He was on my phone opening up Roblox, and when you said that, he closed it. He was like, "Okay, now you can, you can." Great, great job, kid.
So yeah, hey clap for these babies. Good job. Good job. Let's go. Let's go. Please say good babies. You shouldn't thank me. You should thank my dad in the most high. Oh, look at that. But we're going to give you the encouragement because it takes obedience from your heart. Every person, apart from your daddy and your mama, you have to be accountable for your relationship with God, right? So we just going to encourage you, babies, because y'all could be doing so much. It's so much peer pressure out there, but you are here. And your mom and dad are doing a great job training up a yeah, child. I concur. Oh, Good job, mom yeah, and dad. Train up a child in the way in which he should go. And when he's an adult, he shall not depart from it. Can you guys adopt me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on. Hey, look, I'll adopt you. Come on on over here. You just got to pay rent. Because <laughs> <laughs> you a star, John. <laughs> 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 oh man, yo man, I, I love y'all, bro. For real, for real, for real. But yeah, for real on that on that um Passover. Uh, yeah, let's, down. let's try to figure it out. Let's hey, figure Greg, that out. For sure. Huh? Where are you from, Greg? I'm in Arizona, yeah, Phoenix, Arizona. Oh, okay, my sister just moved there. Ain't that something? Oh really? Yeah, she did. My older sister. Okay, well, come on over to the south side. <laughs> <laughs> All right, family. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat. All right, y'all have a good weekend and stay safe and Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Bye, y'all. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shout out to my enemies. They want to take me out just like the Kennedys. Because I'm standing on these stands as a simile. The homies got my back. We always move like an assembly. I'm everything that they pretend to be. Man of God, but I'm still hood mentally. Still riding clean. Digi Dash in the centerpiece. Trying to get this money, keeping God as a centerpiece. The devil made a mess of this. The exodus. Only through the Lord, so we trying to see an exodus. And many are called, but if you chosen like the rest of us, you realize.